Okay, you should be good. All right, thank you, Madam Clerk. Uh, I'm gonna convene the uh, March 18th uh, meeting of the Veterans Affairs Committee, uh, which is our final uh, JF meeting at the deadline, uh, I'll point out uh, for, uh, for this session. Uh, we have a pretty good size 18 bill agenda coming up here. Uh, I first wanted to give an opportunity uh, for my co-chair, Senator Cabrera, uh, for any comments that, uh, that he had, Senator. Thank you, Representative Boyd. Good morning, everyone. And uh, looking forward to a, a good meeting. Don't see uh, Senator Miller here yet, but she's been joining us a new member on our committee. So welcome everyone. And when she jumps in, I'd love to welcome her as well. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. And I also want to give a chance for our rankings. Uh, Representative Vail. Sorry, I had a momentarily uh, technical difficulties. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just, again, I wanted to thank you and Senator Cabrera and um, Ranking Member Chicarella for uh, continued bipartisan uh, work that we do on this committee. It's very, um, not always the case here in this building. And I want to just say thank you to you for always giving us an equal voice and listening to us and just everybody on the committee for all their hard work and certainly the staff for all you've done this year. Um, and again, I look forward to so get some good work done both now here through the legislation and hopefully even beyond this um, as the year goes on. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Vail. Uh, Senator Ciccarella. Thank you. And I'd just like to echo uh, that uh, great work on both sides and um, especially to the staff to help us uh, move these forward and um, looking forward to continuing the good work with this committee. It was a pleasure to work with you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. Uh, and I certainly would like to echo as well uh, the work of the staff. Um, uh, we can't, this legislature doesn't operate effectively without you. Uh, and in particular, Erica, who sometimes is uh, doing her due diligence to chase down uh, the good uh, chairman and myself up against deadlines. And, and I really do appreciate her active role in that. So Erica, on behalf of the committee, thank you for your work as well. Um, there's, uh, there, were, there were nearly 70 bills that were submitted to this committee, um, and we have 18 that were Erica, uh, in the process. Oh. Yes, sir. Yes, yes we I've can. Lost, I've lost my sound completely. I apologize, everybody. I'm, uh, um, I'm going to log out, log back in. Okay. okay. So, um, there's a, there's, there were a number of bills that were submitted um, that surrounded veteran suicide, uh, as well as property tax uh, exemptions, modifications, those types of things. Um, the the, the co-chair and myself, as well as the ranking members, um, had a long talk about some of these bills. Many of them are par progress. Uh, many of them have merit and are, are very much an important part, particularly around veteran suicide. It's just we were not in a position uh, to submit bills for uh, Jay Effinger to become law yet. And we just wanted to commit as a group, as the rankings uh, and chairs, that this work doesn't end now. And that uh, outside of the session, uh, as the session goes on, working with other stakeholders, um, you know, we, we're going to continue this work uh, and, and try to have some deliverables, perhaps, uh, for the short session coming up next year. Uh, so I just wanted to, just because we're not JFing these bills, I don't want it lost in anybody that these issues are not ones that we're continuing on, particularly around veteran suicide. And we're working with a statewide task force with other stack stakeholders uh, as well. And uh, we hope to bring, you know, all the people together uh, to talk about property tax exemptions, you know, what veterans have, what they don't have, uh, what they should have uh, as a continuing conversation. So uh, I just wanted to, for the record, uh, commit uh, the leadership of this committee and any members that wish to be part of that, uh, that the discussion just doesn't end with the JF deadline today. So uh, that's that. Uh, moving into agenda item number three, Representative Vail. Yeah, I'd like to make a motion to start a consent calendar. The motion's been made. Is there a second? Second from Senator Berthel. Second by Senator Berthel. Uh, if you could prepare yourselves, all in favor of uh, creating a consent calendar, please signify by saying aye. 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 
Any opposed? Aye. Aye. Okay. We will start a consent calendar. And uh, for the record as well, uh, I said it before we went live, but we're going to only be able to hold votes open until one o'clock today uh, due to some impending deadlines uh, that staff have to do after our meeting. So one o'clock and we'll be reaching out to members uh, that are not present. Uh, so uh, moving on to the agenda, the item number one, SB 413, proposed to JF to the Finance Committee. What is your pleasure? Is there a motion? I motion. Moved by Representative Vale, second by Senator Ciccarella. Any discussion? Any discussion? Hearing none, I'd like to move that we add this to the consent calendar. Is there objection? Hearing none, we'll add it to the consent calendar. Item number two, SB 614, JF to the Finance Committee. What is your pleasure? I'd like to make a motion to JF to the Finance Committee. Second. By Representative Vales, uh, uh, second by Representative Napoli. Discussion. Discussion. Is there a, uh, we'd like to move this to the consent calendar. Is there objection? Hearing none, uh, we'll add it to the calendar. Item number three, HB 6481. This is a JFS to the Transportation Committee. Is there a motion? Moved. Moved second. by Representative Vail, second by Representative Napoli. Uh, is there discussion? Hearing none, I'd like to move that we add this to the consent calendar. Is there an objection? Okay, hearing none, it's been added. Uh, item number four, SB. 859. Is there a motion? This is a JF to the floor. So moved. Moved by Representative Napoli. Is there a second? Second. Second by Senator Ciccarella. Uh, discussion. Discussion. Hearing none, I move that we add this to the consent calendar. Is there an objection? Okay, hearing none, so ordered. Uh, item number five, SB 861. This is a JF to the floor. Is there a motion? Motion to put on consent. Ooh, skipped a... Skip to, I think we have to uh, JF to the floor and put it on consent. How about that? That works. Is there a second? I is, didn't get that. Is there a second? My Siri is trying to second. Uh -huh. so moved. Second by okay. Senator Cabrera. Uh, discussion? Discussion? Uh, any objection to putting it on consent? So ordered. Page two. Item number six, SB 914. This is a JF to the floor. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Moved by Representative Vail, second by Representative Napoli. Uh, discussion, discussion. Hearing none, uh, I move that we add it to the consent calendar. Is there an objection? Hearing none, we'll add it to consent. Item number seven, HB 5592. This is a JF to the floor. Is there a motion? So moved. Move by Representative Napoli. Is there a second? Second. Second by Senator Ciccarella. Discussion. Representative Vale, you recognize. Um, I just, just for clarity, um, does the Department of Veterans Affairs have, a, a, or the commissioner have a position on this bill? Uh, good question. Uh, yes, we've been working with the DVA on the, uh, on the language. 
uh, and we've largely taken the commissioner's recommendations uh, and he testified in support of it as well. And the DVA is gonna have a huge role uh, in administering this aspect of it. So we have deferred to his office. I appreciate that answer, thank you. Thank you, Representative. Other discussion? I move to put it on consent. Move to put it on consent. Is there an objection? Hearing none, we'll add it to consent. Item number eight, HB 5736. This is a JF to the floor. What is uh, your pleasure? Is there a motion? So moved. Moved by Representative Napoli. Is there a second? Second by Representative Vale. Discussion. Discussion. Hearing none, I move to add it to the consent calendar. Is there an objection? Hearing none, we'll add it to consent. Uh, number nine, HB 5737. This is a JF to the floor. Is there a motion? So moved. Uh, moved, is there a second? Anybody? Second. Second by Representative Devon Carlo. Uh, discussion, Representative Vale. I was just curious as um, what the cost to the state is going to be uh, for this trail, if any. No, thank you for the question, Representative. Uh, we believe, although the fiscal note does not get added until we JF it, uh, it is our belief that it will not be at a cost to the state. We tried to get the language written uh, in that manner. Um, all right, for that I and I will support this uh, moving forward for that reason, and I move that we put it on consent. Thank you. Uh, it's been moved to put on consent. Is there an objection? Hearing none, we'll add it to consent. Uh, next is HB six four two seven. This is a JF to the floor. Is there a motion? So moved. Moved by Representative Second. Napoli. Second by Senator Maroney. Discussion. Discussion. Representative Vale, was that your hand up from last time or? No, I just took it down, put it up again. Um, after listening to the testimony, I could certainly um, understand some of the aspects where, you know, the action in general wanted to put these things together, but also, you know, listening to a lot of the, you know, horse guard members and people from those militia groups. I, I have I still have some concerns. I feel like they've been disenfranchised. This is an organ organization that have been together for hundreds of years. Um, I have my concerns. I don't know that I see the the, the total need for this, and um, for that reason, I'll be voting no on this. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Vale. Representative Turco, you have the floor, sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I apologize for being on my my phone here. I'm on another Zoom meeting on my computer. Not at um, all. So this uh, bill, you know, I, I've heard from several of my constituents that I represent here in Newington who are part of the governor's foot guard that are not um, supportive of the changes being proposed here. And um, General Yvon, I've spoken to about it and we've had several meetings with his staff. And um, I can understand where the military department is coming from with this and why they think that it needs to um, be enacted. Uh, but, but I'm concerned for some of the individuals I represent who, um, you know, they, they have some worries about the language and um, I'm gonna be voting no on this bill. And it's, it's not necessarily because I think uh, what the military department is proposing um, might be, you know, a, a bad idea. It's just that there's, just so much uh, back and forth, a lot of confusion over the what the right thing is do, to do here. So I want to vote no. I'm going to flag it. And then hopefully the, the committee um, leadership and other people as this bill is on the floor can continue conversations with the governor's uh, foot guard members of the first company here in Hartford and with the military department and see if there really is any other way of getting um, some common ground before uh, this bill gets voted on on the floor. So thank you for the opportunity, Mr. Chairman, to express that. Thank you, Representative uh, Turco. Representative Linehan. 
Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I recognize what uh, Representative Turco said, and I always agree that it's best for parties to come together um, and have an agreement. And, uh, but I will say that I have heard from um, constituents who are actually for the bill. So I disagree with him in that manner. Um, it just, I think, goes to show, it highlights the difference um, that there is you know, strong divide here. And I recognize um, voting no to flag something. However, I work a little differently. Um, I vote yes. I'm going to vote yes to get this out of committee um, because it is, I think this is the fourth time that this bill has, has come up. And so um, I think it's high time that it moves along for a discussion to force those parties to really come together and find um, a workable solution. So I'm going to vote yes on this and then reserve my right to vote no on the floor. So thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Uh... Thank you, Representative Linehan. Uh, Representative Napoli. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. You know, on Monday evening, I had the opportunity to visit the first company governor's foot guard. And I got to spend some quality time with people who care deeply about the state of Connecticut and deeply about their country. Um, I know that this bill is important for efficiencies um, and to make sure that we can move forward as a state. Uh, and I'm also glad to see that the bill has no impact on the board of trustees. Um, in my short visit there, I, I got to walk around uh, the facility, and it, it's a wonderful facility that I strongly encourage uh, members of this committee to visit. They have a great museum. Uh, they have a lot of uh, historical information on site. They have a historian who works there, and there's valuable artifacts. Um, and I walked away with that, you know, learning a lot about what they do and in, in the history of, of the foot guard. Uh, subsequently, I contacted the general's office, and they strongly indicated that all the artifacts collected over the years by the foot guard would remain intact. So I was happy to see that. So uh, I will reluctantly support this bill coming out of committee. Not sure what I will do on the floor, but I think it deserves that wider discussion. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Vice Chair. Uh, other, uh, other discussion points here. Other discussion points. I, I would just say that um, you know this this issue was not one that I was aware of prior to my service in this committee. Um, and uh, two sessions ago, we had extensive public hearings on it. It's been a lot of discussion. Um, and in this session, you know, I've certainly, as a chair, have tried to do my due diligence in having direct conversations with the uh, with the military department. You know, asking a lot of the questions that had been raised from some of the the folks that are against it. Uh, who testified such way, um, you know, there was a, 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 a veteran uh, who is a, uh, one of our colleagues here in the, uh, in the General Assembly who kind of brought it to a point to me, he goes, you know, there, we're either the military or you're not. Um, there, and then the military has a chain of command and uh, protecting the nonprofit side, uh, which is the trustees, a lot of the people spoke are, uh, this, this bill, um, does not affect the nonprofit status of the horse guard in one bit and property that they own. It does uh, allow the military department, uh, which is funded by the state budget, uh, including uh, the horse guards, to be able to organize uh, the militia uh, as they see fit, which is um, consistent with how the military operates uh, um, nationwide. So uh, I certainly recognize some of the, the issues that exist and some of the concerns that have been raised, um, you know, but uh, I think this is, uh, I, I think this is the right way to go. So uh, other, other points of discussion, other points of discussion. Uh, hearing none, uh, clerk, can you call the roll? Yes, I can. So prepare yourselves for a roll call vote, which is the first one we've done in this committee this session. Um, and so I'll be, Stating your name, I'm sure you've all done this in the other committees already, but I need to be able to visually confirm that you're there. So this is a vote on bill number HB 6427, an act concerning the organizational structure and bylaws of the militia units. Senator Cabrera. Senator Cabrera, yes. Representative Boyd. Representative Boyd, aye. Senator Maroney. Senator Maroney votes yes. Thank you. Representative Napoli. Representative Napoli votes yes. 
Senator Ciccarella. Senator Ciccarella votes yes. Representative Vail. Representative Vail votes no. Senator Darty Abrams. Senator Darty Abrams votes yes. Representative Anderson. Representative Anderson votes yes. Representative Arcanti. Representative Arcanti. Representative Arcanti. Senator Berthel. Good morning, Madam Clerk. Senator Berthel votes yes. Thank you. Representative Buckby. Representative Buckby. Representative Buckby. Representative De La Cruz. Representative De La Cruz. Representative De La Cruz. Representative DJ Van Carlo. Representative DJ Van Carlo votes yes. Representative Ferraro. Representative Ferraro. Representative Ferraro. Representative Linehan. Representative Linehan votes yes. Senator Miller. Senator Miller votes yes. Yeah. Thank you. Senator Austin. Uh, our, our folks are Senator Austin Senators votes in Davis. the affirmative. And Representative Turco. Uh, Representative Turco votes no. Thank you. That completes the roll call. Thank you, uh, Madam Clerk. And a reminder that votes uh, remain open until uh, one o'clock. I just want to uh, yield the floor for a second here and uh, for a point of personal privilege to Senator Cabrera. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just wanted to take a quick moment to welcome Senator Miller to our committee. As you know, uh, Senator Miller has many years of experience on the House side. Uh, we're glad she's joining us in the Senate, and we are looking forward to working with you on a whole host of issues. So welcome, Senator Miller. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Senator Cabrera. And we, the more House members we get in the Senate, the better. We'll straighten you guys out. So congratulations, Senator. Uh, Representative Vail. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I too wanted to congratulate and welcome uh, Senator Miller. It's going to be a pleasure working with you. Um, you you, you kind of, I don't know if it'd be tough. I liked you better in the House, but I'm sure you're not going to change any up there. So we'll see. I look forward to working with you. Thank you, Senator. All right. Back to our... Back to our agenda. Uh, we are now on item number 11, House Bill 6428. This is a JF to the floor. Uh, is there a motion? So moved. Moved by Representative Vail. Is there a second? Second. Second. Uh, Senator Billy Miller, which it's going to take some time to get the Senator part. Um, uh, discussion, discussion, discussion. Uh, hearing none, I, I move that we add to the consent calendar. Is there an objection? Is there an objection? Hearing none, uh, we'll add it to consent. Uh, next is item 12, which is Senate Bill 916. This is a JFS to the floor. Is there a motion? So moved. Moved by Representative Napoli. Is there a second? Second. Second by, I didn't catch who the second was. DJ Van Carlo. The gentleman from Waterbury, thank you. <laughs> both both first and second by the gentleman from Waterbury. Um, is there a discussion? Is there a discussion? Hearing none, uh, I move to add this to consent. Is there an objection? Is there an objection? Hearing none, we'll add it to consent. Uh, next is... Uh, Agenda item 13, which is Senate Bill 917. Uh, this is a JFS to the floor. Is there a motion? So moved. Moved by Representative Napoli. Is there a second? Is there a second? Thank you, Senator Cabrera. Um, discussion, Representative, oh, Representative Anderson. You have the floor, sir. Uh, Mr. Chair, I... Um would like to opportunity to vote on this. And I would vote no 
uh, based on the testimony submitted by DSS, um, that it'll increase the cost to the state. Um, you know, I am a veteran, hope to get a pension soon, um, 28 years in the reserves, but um, it is real income, it should be counted. Um, you know, I believe in doing things for veterans, but I agree with the DSS testimony and would oppose this bill. Thank you, Representative. Uh, other, other discussion items, Representative Vale. Thank you, Mr. Chair. For clarification, would this apply to all veterans or disabled veterans only? Uh, my understanding is this applies to all veterans. Okay. And I certainly um, respect Representative Anderson's view on this. Um, you know, can attest to that firsthand. And um, I too will be voting no on this. Thank you. Thank you, Representative. Other points of discussion? Other points of discussion? Hearing none, Madam Clerk, can you please call the roll? Yes, this is a roll call vote for Senate Bill 917, um, JFS to the floor and act exempting veterans. Federal pension benefits from income eligibility for public assistance programs. Senator Cabrera. Senator Cabrera votes yes. Representative Boyd. Representative Boyd, aye. Senator Maroney. Senator Maroney votes yes. One more time, sir. Senator Maroney votes uh, in the affirmative. Oh, just say yes one more time. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank Representative you. Napoli. Representative Napoli votes yes. Senator Ciccarella. Senator Ciccarella. Senator Ciccarella votes yes. Thank you. Representative Vail. Representative Vail votes no. Senator Darty Abrams. Senator Darty Abrams votes yes. Yeah. Representative Anderson. Representative Anderson votes no. Representative Arcanti. Representative Arcanti. Representative Arcanti. Senator Berthel. Senator Berthel votes no. Representative Buckby. Representative Buckby. Representative Buckby. Representative De La Cruz. Representative De La Cruz. Representative De La Cruz. Representative D.G. Von Carlo. Representative D.G. Von Carlo votes yes. Representative Ferraro. Representative Ferraro. Representative Ferraro. Representative Linehan. Representative Linehan votes yes. Thank you. Senator Miller. Senator Miller votes yes. Senator Austin. Senator Austin votes in the affirmative. And Representative Turco. Representative Turco. Uh, Representative Turco votes yes. Thank you. That concludes the roll call. Thank you, uh, Madam Clerk. And again, votes remain open until one o'clock. Uh, I believe this now brings us to agenda item number 14, uh, which is House Bill number 6316. And this is a JFS to the floor. Is there a motion? So, um, so moved. Moved by Representative Napoli. Is there a second? Second. Second by Senator Maroney. Uh, with that, discussion. Discussion. Hearing none, uh, I move to add this to consent. Is there an objection? Is there an objection? Hearing none, we'll add it to consent. Uh, next uh, is agenda item number 15, which is House Bill uh, 6429. This is a JFS to the floor. Is there a motion? So moved. Moved by Representative Napoli. Is there a second? Is there a second? Senator Austin second. seconds this. Second by Senator Austin. Uh, and, and just um, as a note. Thank you. I'm sorry. Uh, just I as a note. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Just I love Zoom. Love Zoom. 
Uh, just as a note that uh, um, the JFS language does turn this from a task force into a working group, uh, which allows uh, this committee to drive the process more, which was kind of the, uh, um, the goal here so that we can be show the initiative and stay engaged with this. And I just wanted to uh, point that out. Uh, Representative Vale, your hand is raised. Yes, and uh, thank you for that clarification. You know, you know, answered my question. I do have one. And are we committed to make sure that you know the municipalities are going to be part of that that working group? Yeah, as uh, as the representative is alluding to in screening, we talked about uh, you know property tax as a whole, and the best way to come up with policy that works for everybody is you get different points of view at the table. So the intention is to get CCM, get costs, get some of the groups that have historically opposed these things to be at the table along with advocates that have promoted them. So hopefully we can get something that, uh, uh, that maybe we can work on in a, in a larger, in a longer session. So yes, representative. Thank you for that answer. And for that reason, I will be voting yes. Thank you, sir. Other discussion? Hearing none, uh, I move to add this to consent. Is there an objection? Is there an objection? Okay, hearing none been added to consent. Uh, next is item number 16, uh, which is House Bill 6480, which is a JFS to the floor. Is there a motion? So moved. Moved by Representative Napoli. Is there a second? Second. Second by Representative Ivan Carlo. Uh, discussion. 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 I'm hearing none. Uh, I move to add it to consent. Uh, is there objection? Is there objection? Okay, hearing none, I'll add it to consent. Uh, next is uh, item number 17, which is House Bill 6482. Um, this is a House bill that is the component to Senate Bill 917 uh, that we voted on by roll uh, a couple of minutes ago. Uh, and the, the really the only difference is one is a House bill and one is a Senate uh, Senate bill. It's a JFS to the floor. Did I, uh, did I get move it yet? I don't recall. No, I'm looking for a motion to JFS it to the floor. So moved. Move by Representative Napoli. Is there a second? Second. second. Uh, Representative Devon Carlo. Discussion? Uh, Representative Anderson. Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, my opposition would be the same as to the Senate bill. I do notice there's unique DSS testimony against this one also. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Representative. Other discussion items? Other discussion items? Hearing none, uh, Clerk, can you please call the roll? Yep, this is a roll call vote to JFS to the floor, bill number, House bill. Um, 6482, an act excluding federal veterans benefits from income eligibility for public assistance programs. Senator Cabrera. Senator Cabrera. Representative Boyd. Representative Boyd, aye. Senator Maroney. Senator Maroney votes yes. One more time, yes. sir. Yes. Senator Maroney votes yes. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. Representative Napoli. Representative Napoli votes yes. Senator Ciccarella. Senator Ciccarella votes yes. Representative Vail. Representative Vail votes no. Senator Darty Abrams. Senator Darty Abrams. Senator Darty Abrams. Representative Anderson. Representative Anderson votes no. Thank you, sir. Representative Arconti. Representative Arconti. Representative Arconti. Senator Berthel. Senator Berthel votes no. Representative Buckby, Representative Buckby, Representative Buckby, Representative De La Cruz, Representative De La Cruz, Representative De La Cruz, Representative D. Giovanni Carlo, Representative D. Giovanni Carlo votes yes, Representative Ferraro, 
Representative Ferraro. Representative Ferraro. Representative Linehan. Representative Linehan votes yes. Senator Miller. Senator Miller votes yes. Thank you. Senator Austin. Senator Austin votes in the affirmative. And Representative Turco. Representative Turco votes yes. Thank you. Um, that concludes the roll call vote. Thank you, uh, Madam Clerk. Uh, and a reminder that I think oh. I missed my call. <laughs> yes. Senator Darty Abrams votes yes. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. And a reminder that votes remain open until one o'clock. Uh, so that brings us to uh, agenda item number 18, uh, House Bill 6483. Uh, this is a bill uh, that is at the request of the Department of Defense. Um, it is a JFS to the floor. Is there a, uh, is there a motion? Senator so Austin moves. moves. Senator Austin, I'll... yep. And Representative Napoli, I believe is Second. seconding. Okay, thank you. Uh, it's been made and second. Is there a discussion? Is there a discussion? Hearing none. Uh, I'd like to move to add this to consent. Any objections? Any objections? Uh, hearing none, uh, it's been added to consent. Um, before we vote on the consent calendar, I just wanted to uh, make sure that the committee is authorizing our LCO, uh, that they have permission to make technical and conforming changes to any of the legislation as they come up with their final, uh, their final drafts to the floor. Um, is there any objection to allowing LCO to make technical and conforming changes? Any objections? Any objections? Okay, hearing none, thank you. Uh, and I believe we need to do a roll call on our consent calendar. So Madam Clerk, the floor is yours. Thank you. We have put 15 bills onto the consent calendar to vote on for final action. So it'll take a few moments just to read through them all and then I will do the roll call vote. So the bills that are being voted on for final action are Senate Bill 413, an act waiving certain fees for veterans for occupational licensure, that's getting a JF to finance. Senate Bill 614, an act exempting veterans from payment of the fares for, public bus, for bus public transportation services, JF to finance. House Bill 6481, an act concerning special registration marker plates for veterans and members of the armed force forces who served in periods of war, JFS as amended to transportation, SB 859, an act concerning certain deposits in the Department of Veterans Affairs Institutional General Welfare Fund, JF to the floor, SB 861, an act waiving certain medical marijuana fees for veterans, JF to the floor, SB 914, an act concerning Hmong Laotian Special Guerrilla Force units which served in the Kingdom of Laos, JF to the floor, HB 5592, an act redefining veteran and establishing a qualified condition review board, JF to the floor, HB 5736, an act concerning price preferences for veteran owned businesses in state contracting, JF to the floor, HB 5737, an act creating a veterans and military tourism trail, JF to the floor. HB 6428, an act establishing a law enforcement support office program account, JF to the floor. SB 916, an act concerning fees for certified copies of vital records sought in connection with the Soldiers, Sailors and Marines Fund, JFS as amended to the floor. HB 6316, an act concerning the evaluation of military training evaluation applications submitted to the Labor Department, JFS as amended to the floor. HB 6429, an act establishing a task force to study the expansion of property tax relief for certain veterans. That's getting a JFS for LCO number 4890 to the floor. HB 6480, an act concerning the funeral expenses of certain veterans, getting a JFS for LCO number 4897 to the floor. And House Bill 6483, an act concerning the enrollment of children of members of the armed forces in public schools and the establishment of a Purple Star School program, JFS as amended to the floor. 
Senator Cabrera. Representative Boyd. Representative Boyd, aye. Senator Maroney. Senator Maroney votes in the affirmative. You got it on the first. Is that loud enough that I triggered it? <laughs> yes. Representative Napoli. Representative Napoli votes yes. Senator Ciccarella. Senator Ciccarella votes yes. Thank you. Representative Vail. Representative Vail votes yes. Senator Darty Abrams. Senator Darty Abrams votes yes. Representative Anderson. Representative Anderson. Representative Anderson. Representative Arconti. Representative Arconti. Representative Arconti. Senator Berthel. Senator Berthel votes yes. Representative Buckby. Representative Buckby. Representative Buckby. Representative De La Cruz. Representative De La Cruz. Representative De La Cruz. Representative D. Giovan Carlo. Representative D. Giovan Carlo votes yes. Representative Ferraro. Representative Ferraro. Representative Ferraro. Representative Linehan. Representative Linehan votes yes. Senator Miller. Senator Miller votes yes. Thank you. Senator Austin. Senator Austin votes in the affirmative. And Representative Turco. Representative Turco votes yes. Thank you. That concludes the roll call. Pat, you are muted, so you're telling us things that we can't hear. I well, <laughs> some would like it that way. Um, <laughs> thank you, Senator. Um, so, uh, just a reminder: votes are open until one o'clock. Uh, and uh, as a standing reminder that Representative Vale has invited us all to the Stafford House of Pizza at his expense uh, whenever you're available. So make sure you, uh, you take up on that. And uh, barring any referrals uh, to our committee from other committees, uh, this is our final meeting. And again, I, I do appreciate uh, the collegiality of this committee and the bipartisan nature and the work that we've done here. And, uh, and I thank you all for, for being part of that and contributing to that climate. Um, so we are recessed until one o'clock or till uh, the last vote is counted, whatever comes first. So we are in recess, thank you. Eddie, did you get the motion in the second for um, House Bill 6429? Check that right now. Thank you. That, it was item number 15. Uh, Representative Napoli and the Senator Austin. Thank you. Shuffling papers. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to reach out to um, legislative aides now just to let. I have um, Senator Cabrera missed two votes, and then Representative Arconti, Buckby, De La Cruz, and Ferraro missing the four. So I'll reach out to them now and hopefully the others.
Hello, sir. Okay, two votes on House Bill 6482, an act excluding federal veterans benefits from income eligibility for public assistance program at JFS to the floor. How do you vote? Senator Cabrera votes yes. Thank you. And then the consent calendar, which um, has 15 items on it that are on the consent calendar, which I won't read all of them. (laughs) How do you vote? I vote in the affirmative. Thank you very much, sir. Enjoy the rest of your busy day. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Hey, Eric, I'm back.
Representative Anderson. Would you like to vote on the consent calendar? Senator Anderson's here. I don't know if he was working. Oh, I just heard you. Yep, yes, here. is that the only open vote? Yes, that that's the that's the one that you haven't voted on. Would you like me to read the the list no, of the bills? No, okay. I've got a good list. So Representative okay. Anderson votes yes on the consent calendar. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. You too. Representative Ferraro, how are you? Oh, good. I mean, was busy with uh, energy and technology. Oh, yes. No, it's it's quite a quite a day. I just today. let us out of our cage, so I'm here. <laughs> So we took four roll call votes today. Um, there were 15 items on a consent calendar, but we'll, we'll do the individual ones first. So the first one was um, House Bill 6482, an act excluding federal pensions benefits from income eligibility for public assistance programs. And that's to JF Essex to the floor. How do you vote? Yes. Thank you. The next one is House is Senate Bill 917, an act exempting veterans federal pension benefits from income eligibility for public assistance programs. It's the sibling to the House bill, um, also to JF Essex to the floor. How do you vote? Yes. Thank you. HB 6427, an act concerning the organizational structure and bylaws of the military units. And this is to JF Essex to the floor. How do you vote? Yes. Okay, and then the final one, um, I'll just quickly read through the bill numbers for you. Um, Senate Bill 413, JF to Finance, Senate Bill 614, JF to Finance, House Bill 6481, JFF as amended to Transportation, Senate Bill 859, JF to the floor, Senate Bill 861, JF to the floor, Senate Bill 914, JF to the floor, House Bill 5592, JF to the floor, House Bill 5736, JF to the floor, House Bill 5737, JF to the floor, House Bill 6428, JF to the floor, Senate Bill 916, JF is amended to the floor, House Bill 6316, JF is amended to the floor, House Bill 6429, JF LCO number 4890 to the floor, House Bill 6480, JFS LCO number 4897 to the floor, and House Bill 6483, JFS as amended to the floor. How do you vote, sir? Yes. Thank you. You're all set? Thank you. Have a Hi, wonderful Dave. day. Good to see you again, Dave. Hey, Hi, <laughs> right, Rep. Arconte, how are you doing? Hi, Erica. I realized I should have made sure you were on when I was reading through. Did you hear all of the consent calendar? I, I did. Yep, I did Excellent. catch it. I did catch Wonderful. it. Okay. How do you vote, sir? I vote yes. Okay. And then there's three other. Um, you did three other roll call votes. Okay. House Bill 6482, an act excluding federal vet veterans benefits from income eligibility for public assistance programs. JFS to the floor. How do you vote? Yes. SB 917, this is the sibling bill, JFSing, an act exempting veterans federal pension benefits from income eligibility for public assistance programs. How do you vote? I vote yes. Okay. And the last one is HB 6427, an act concerning the organizational structure and bylaws of the militia units. And this is a JF to the floor. I vote yes. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're all set. Have a wonderful day. You too. Thanks.
Harry was, you know, following the house. Yeah, and yeah. Stories, and so I just wanted that. I appreciate it. I appreciate you running down the hall for it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God it's short hallway. <laughs> Thanks. Hi, Hi Representative Buckby. How are you? Good. You're supposed to be in like five places at once right now. So I am. I don't um, know why I'm, that's just not easy. I'm pulling off the Santa magic to pull off some of it. That's it. So it's some yeah, seriously. I know. Okay. A bag of tricks. <laughs> so we had four roll call votes, including one that was technically there. So I'm sorry. Got it. I have my notes, so I feel pretty good. Excellent. Okay. The first is House Bill. 6482, an act excluding federal veterans benefits from income eligibility for public assistance programs. And that was to JFS it to the floor. How do you vote? I'm a yes. Buck B votes yes. Thank you, sir. The next one is the sibling bill to that, which is the Senate Bill 917, an act exempting veterans federal pension benefits from income eligibility for public assistance programs. JFS to the floor. How do you vote? Buck B votes yes. Excellent. And HB 6427, an act concerning the organizational structure and bylaws of the militia units, JF to the floor. Only one of the day, Buffy votes no. Okay. And finally, the consent calendar. Would you like me to read to you the 15 bills that are? I am aware of what they are, and I am in the affirmative on the consent calendar. Excellent. Thank you, sir. You are all set. Yes, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. You too. We'll talk to you yeah. soon. Yep. Yeah, bye. Bye-bye. Eddie, can I ask you one more um, motion and second question? Yeah. Okay. Um, item number eight, which was House Bill 5736. Who do you have as making the motion and second, I guess? Rustling through these papers. <laughs> I know. Uh, item number eight, uh, House Bill seven, uh, 5736. I have uh, Representative Napoli, Representative Vale. Okay, excellent. I had their names, but I had them in the other order and I made a note to check on it. So. Okay, thank you. No problem.
Can we just run through the motions and seconds for everything that was on consent? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So everything that's on consent, correct? So that's pretty much everything that wasn't voted on. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, and I think I have these in order of the agenda item. Okay. Let's see. Um, let's go. Okay. Because then I started to, to fill out the vote tally sheets so it'd be easier. Okay. Um, SB 413, who do you have? For SB 413, motion was made by Representative uh, by Vale and seconded by Senator Chicarella. Yep. 614. 614, uh, Vale and Napoli. Yep. 6481. 6481, Vale and Napoli. Yep. 859. 859, Napoli, uh, Chicarella. Yep. 861. 861, Napoli and Cabrera. Right. 914. 914, Vale and Napoli. Um, 5592, let's leave him in the waiting room for one. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, 5592, uh, Napoli, Chicarella. 56, yep. sorry. Five, I'm surprised I didn't do any of the numbers backwards. <laughs> I hope I didn't. <laughs> no, you were good. Them. 5736. Five seven three six uh, Napoli and Vale. Um, five seven three seven. Five seven three seven Napoli and D G uh, D G and Val Carlo. Six four two eight. Six four two eight uh, Vale and Miller. Nine sixteen. Nine sixteen Napoli and D G Val Carlo. Yeah. And sixty three sixteen. 6316, Napoli and Maroni. Yep. 6429. Uh, 6429, Napoli uh, and Austin. 6480. Uh, 6480, Napoli and DG and Carlo. And 6483. 6483, Austin and Napoli. Excellent. Okay, good. We match up. Okay, and then actually, yeah, let's go through the roll call. So, because I haven't written it down yet. Six, four, eight, two. One. So six, four, eight, two, uh, Napoli and D, G, and Roncarlo. Mm -hmm. Did you get that? Yeah, so Napoli, D, G, Roncarlo, um, 917. Uh, 917 Napoli and Cabrera. Yep. 6427. 6427 Napoli and Maroni. Okay, excellent. Okay. Was there was there a motion in for the consent calendar? There was a motion to start the consent calendar. Um so the, and that was Vale and seconded by Bercel. And then I don't think, then we don't, I don't believe we needed to, I know it did in the notes, it did say to, okay. but. Just so I know, have it at least. Yeah, so don't worry about that for the minutes because I didn't write that down. <laughs> I don't think there was. Yeah, the minutes so. should be interesting. With this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a good thing you have stuff to look back on. I let, I figured I'd let you handle that and I wouldn't take copious notes. I just wrote down who spoke. Oh, yeah. I'll probably just watch it again. Yeah. Okay. Motivated, I am. <laughs> Thank you. No problem.